Well, here is a quick tip for you. If you've uh, been using Blender 2.5 for a while, uh, there was a really nice feature that uh, allowed the mouse cursor to wrap around on the screen. Let me show you what I mean um, That when it's not enabled. Because in uh, the latest version of Blender 2.57 Stable, uh, this feature was disabled by default, which was kind of annoying. Um, so depending on what version of 2.5 you have, this may be enabled or disabled. So I'm going to show you how to enable it if it is disabled. So I have the default cube here. I have it selected. I pressed S for scale. And you can see my cursor here. And say I want to drag out to make it bigger. But my cursor hits the end of the screen. Well, I can't make it any bigger. Well, that's kind of annoying. And that's how it was back in 2.4 and one of the things that I always found most annoying. So how do you get it so it wraps around and the cursor keeps going? Well, this is called continuous grab and what you need to do is you go up to file, you go to user preferences and under input choose continuous grab. You can click uh, save as default if you'd like at this point and then close this window and what you can do now is if I hit S when I go to scale you watch my cursor when it hits the end of the screen you can see it wraps around and comes back to the top and I can just continuously, continuously, continuously be changing the size or rotating or whatever it is I'm doing uh, with that object without having to stop and start over again just because my cursor hit the end of the screen. So once again you go to file, user preferences and it's under input continuous grab. As long as that's checked you can continuously wrap the cursor around and continuously resize or move depending on whatever it is you're doing an object with your cursor. So that's just a quick tip for you on these 3D Thursdays. Uh, check back next Thursday for more Blender tips and tutorials. Have a great day.